Okay, so this time the picture uh, a bag that has three colors, five red, three green, six blue. A child's going to grab three out of the bag and let's find some probabilities. Okay, exactly two are blue, at least one is blue, and uh, there's a couple more in here. First is red, second is green, third is blue, one is red, one is green, one is blue. Okay, so we'll start with the first two. Okay, so for exactly two to be blue, there are uh, six blue in the bag. Choose two of those. Yes. The non-blue, there are eight. Yes. Choose one of those. In total, there are 14 marbles. You're choosing three. Good one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, if at least one is blue, then what you're choosing here is one, two, and three, or all minus... Um, we don't want it to be um, empty, so none. So they're fairly comparable, two versus three. Um, I'll count it indirectly. I'll choose this one. It's one less thing to do. But again, it's not wrong. It's just a matter of convenience. So uh, this one is going to be all marbles minus no blues. So that's eight, choose three. The eight which are not blue, pick all three from there. And then 14, C3 is the total. Okay. You could also add up all the ways of doing it if you went directly and you counted one blue, two blue, and three blue. So that would be um, six choose one times eight choose two. Six choose two times eight choose one. Or six choose three. And it's all divided by 14 choose three. Yes? Um, I don't mean all of the blue marbles. Oh, okay. I mean all possible ways of picking three. So this is every, every possible way to do it. Remove the ones you don't want. So I don't want these. That leaves me with just uh, at least one blue. Okay. So in this question it says... Uh, the first is red, the second is green, and the third is blue. So how are we going to count that this time? Well, we have three choices for spaces, right? So the first one has to be red, which means there are, what, five reds, three greens, and six blues to fill into the spaces. Then I'm going to divide it by the total number of ways that I could uh, order those marbles. Okay, so because this time the order matters between first, second, and third, it's 14 P3. Okay. The next one's going to, I'm going to give you a minute or two, a few minutes probably to think about this. Um, what if one is red, one is green, and one is blue? Meaning we don't care necessarily what the order they came out, but we want one of each color when we find the probability. Okay, so if one is red, one is green, and one is blue, then how do we count that? That's one unit. Sorry? That'll be one unit. One over there. Fourteen straight. So what's your suggestion? That one red, one green, one blue, that's one unit, right? That's one what? Unit or something. Unit? That's one sorry, I can't hear Sebastian. I need uh so one, yeah, that's like one reaching into the bag, pulling out three marbles. Yeah. So, so, one here. so you're, you want to count it like this, like a tree diagram, like one? Yeah, we could, we might. Um, let's try counting it, though. We could probably do it that way. So how many ways can we do this if we've got the three choices? One is red, one is green, and one is blue. Order does not matter, no. So, five. So, yeah, there's five choices, three choices, six choices. But that's overcounting, uh, I believe. Let's just see here. Five, three, and six. Uh, nope, nope, that's, that's actually okay. So, uh, that's okay because... 
We have five for reds, five, uh, three for greens, six for blues. Okay, one of each. And it's going to be over, yeah, this time it's 14 C3. And that's what's going to make this probability more likely since it's a, a combination, not a permutation. Okay, so last question that we'll try together. See if you can do it from beginning to end. A jar contains five orange, three purple, seven blue, and five green. If a total of 20 candies, what's the probability that a handful has a four has one of every color? Okay, so let's finish this question off. If we were to pick all one color, then you have to say to yourself, what are the situations that could have all one color? So what could it be? Four orange? Four blue? Four blue? Or four, uh, what is that, green. So you can't do it with purple. It won't work. But I can say five orange, choose four. Plus seven blue, choose four. Plus uh, five green, choose four. And there's 20 candies. How many ways can I pull out? Oops. How many ways can I pull out four? Okay. So I don't think this probability is very high. Let's just take a look. Seven, choose four, plus one. So I end up with, uh, not a very good shot at that. It's about 0.1%, 0.9%, sorry. 0.9%. 